Hey guys, it's me, Liam from Board and Busters, and welcome to Drawing for Beginners, Episode 2. Okay guys, today we're just going to be drawing some shapes. Now you may think, oh, shapes are easy, but we're going to be drawing 3D shapes. So yes guys, um... So I was thinking, we're not going to do life drawings just yet. That might be a little too tricky. So I think maybe on the fourth episode, we could do it. So let's use our knowledge from what we learned from the uh, last episode with shading. So what we're going to draw, I think we're just going to draw a simple cylinder. We're just going to draw different shapes. Now you may think, oh, this is easy. But it will come in handy later. So... Just draw a cylinder like this. Just draw a circle up top, and then one down, one down, and then another circle at the bottom, just like that. Next, we're gonna add some shading to it. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this shading, where you go, like the smudge shading, that's what I'd like to call it. So just kind of barely color in on the sides. Right face this right here just like that and then just smudge it kind of on the end i'll get my blending stumps and other good pencils in the next video just like that you can kind of do it like that if you want i'm gonna make it a little bit darker right here just like that sorry about that nice Just like that. Now we want to kind of darken it right here. Make your way up. And we're going to draw, like, just... I mean, you could color this in if you want. Make it look like it has a hole. Just like this. But... Yeah, I guess you could say just like this, and yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, because these are just shapes, and kind of makes it look like it has a hole in there. Just like that, and then you could color the rest in if you want, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to take the whole time coloring super good. But kind of like that, I guess, if you want. Um, now we're going to draw a cube. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to draw just a square. This is a really 3D one. So just draw a square like that. And then draw a square inside. I saw another video on this, which is like how to draw a pretty cool cube. Just like that. You may think, oh, it does not look like a cube. But then wait to connect these lines. Boom. Boom, boom. There you go. There's your cube. Uh, to me, my brain for some reason makes it flip flop. There we go. Yeah, it just made it flip flop like like other directions. It's hard to explain, but that's how you draw a cube. I like how this works. It's pretty cool. Now we're gonna draw, I think, uh, a pyramid. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a triangle, and then I think you go like this. Pretty sure. This one might not work out too well. <laughs> not too good at drawing. I guess you could say kind of like this if you want. Or like, I would make it maybe a little bit more steep. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too good at drawing pyramids. But kind of like that if you want. Or you could just draw it like, just like this. If you want. Just like this you could draw it like that if you want but uh yeah i don't that's that's not my personal favorite so um i think what we can draw something else we could draw a rectangle if you want but kind of like the square but it's a little bit different so we're just gonna draw a line just like this 
I think you can go up like, like this and then connect the line going up just like that. So yeah, guys, that's a rectangle. Um, I hope this helped you guys with your basic shapes. Uh, I know some of you guys know how to draw like just like squares and like I guess you could say cylinders kind of like this. But 3D shapes really help in my opinion. Uh, you could draw a lot of cool stuff like, I mean, I don't know, like robots or something like that. But yes, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Bye.